God, I beg you that today go as smoothly and as peacefully as possible. I have nothing but love for all of those women in there, except for a couple of bitches, God. Please, thank you. I love you. Amen. Enjoying tacos with some hoes. Some hoes? What you, what you, what you talking about? What you mean about? when you get that from? Stop playing stupid. Hold on, hold on. First is with Carly. Stop. You think I'm smashing everybody talk like I'm just a I don't know what the f to believe. Who the girl was? That's my ex. Your ex? What are you even doing out with your ex? Man, her people died. Her granddaddy died. I'm out with the girl. She's my friend. That's your granddaddy? No, but I love her, though. I wasn't doing anything wrong with my ex. I was strictly trying to be there for her as a friend. She's blowing things way out of proportion, just like she did when she heard the info about me and Carly Rae. And you know what? I'm sick of being treated like the bad guy. I don't give a f who died. You always treat me. A right? motherfucking shoulder to cry on is a to ride on. You around I'm here your talking about? To no, you around you here tripping. talking that you that you don't f with that girl. You probably is f with Carly and any other motherfucking girl. That I ain't tripping. Cause you a virgin, you insecure about it. I'm not insecure about a motherfucking thing. I don't know what type of bitch you think I am, but I'm that. Man, what you gonna do, Tote? What you mean, what I'm gonna you ain't do? Going you ain't dealing with your motherfucking you ex. Because you ain't giving me nothing. You think I'm just out here smash. My Tobias gets mad if he see me talking to my ex accountant. I don't know why he's trying to act like it's nothing that he was out eating with his ex girlfriend. If he don't start making sense out of all this, he gonna have a new ex to deal with pretty soon. He ain't got no business Man, with her. Because if it was me, you would be ready to click out. No, you yes, tell you, you tell you, you like that. You clicking yes, that. You, yeah, you clicking for that. You tripping. And you think it's funny why you around this bitch laughing like I'm gonna hit you in your <laughs> Tobias is supposed to be my best friend. For him to jeopardize our whole relationship, bitch, I'm disgusted. So what your new hoe do? What you mean what she what do? What your new hoe do? She a flight attendant. Bitch, you a loser. You out here playing with a mother hoe that swing peanut. Chill out, Toby. What the hell must have let you get a butter pass? Man, you tripping. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm gone. I'm off you. You a clown. Go fly high with your mother spirit hoe. You know what type of bitch I am. You know how I'm rocking. Plug me. You got a bitch who got a too, job. Though. A hoe who got a boss. Like, how you going to leave first class for standby? Like, come on. That's your insecurity. Yeah, whatever. Ain't nothing insecure about me, bitch. Bitch, I beat you and hoe. And you know that. Why are we on this big ass table anyway? Tokyo's coming. Why would Tokyo need to come? Like, she was in a relationship with this guy. Like, right. why would now I want to be her friend? Now that you guys are dating and we all have to be in the same space together, we don't want it to I go left. That's why we like... want everything to just be. Hey, ladies, how y'all doing? Hi, Hi, Tokyo. Hi, sis, what's hey. up? How you doing? Good. Tokyo? Yes, Tokyo. This is Spice. Spice, this is Tokyo. Hey, our nice friend, time. our friend. OK. We're all friends here. I guess. OK. How convenient it is that Sierra and Mimi invited me here for brunch, but forgot to tell me that Spice was going to be here. I thought we was having hash browns this morning, bitch. I ain't know we was here to hash it out with the girl that's fooling with somebody that I was fooling with. 
Well, I wanted to introduce you guys and make sure that everybody can be on the same page because we all have to be around each other for the next few days here in Texas. I have no idea why Mimi and Tierra want me to be cool with this girl. Carly told me, oh, Tokyo said, oh, f spice, whatever, whatever. What are we here for? We're going to eat us a good little brunch, and then we're going to enjoy the rest of the week. I don't think she wants nothing else to eat, trust me. <laughs> I really try to body shame anybody, but she been talking a lot of things behind me before she even meet me. So, me have to make her know say, now because she big and me small, me little but me talawa. I mean, hey, you pushing it too. What's I mean, you're not that far from me, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just... But why the, why the da -da -da. sarcasm? I mean, I don't really have no sarcasm, you know. Mm -hmm. All in all, I'm grown. My problem not with her. My problem with Tobias. I don't even know what I'm even here for. Right, like. but, right, but. Mirrors. Excuse me? I was what? No, me she worse. got, she me was worse. Jamaican, so she. Yeah, she, I just the way to when you say, she say things, we really we don't, don't be know understanding. What she's saying. Why you look at me? If she have a problem with Tobias, it has nothing to do with me. Whatever problem she had with Tobias, that with she and Tobias. Like, I why you looking at me? No, it has I just nothing said to do I don't have me. no problem with you, though. Can't have no problem with me, girl. Trust me. All right? What are we doing all that for? I don't know you, so. And I worse don't know you, and I didn't want to know you. All right. Well, I'm here now. If you two didn't do this, I would see her and not see her. Like, we didn't even have but to But we have. are going to be in the same space together a lot. All right, so you want me to try and have a conversation? Because they don't have to thing, have a I conversation. Mean, you just ask want to make sure there's um, no tension. Tobias said that they're not together anymore. And yeah. as long as they're not together anymore, she, I'm not I mean, in a he relationship. I mean, you just posted me on Insta Snap last night, so. Oh, so you are together. Spit it out. Are you together with him, yes or no? Let's get it over I'm, with. Who like, are you talking to? I'm not your child. Oh, God. I'm finna go. <laughs> I'm out of here. This rude Tokyo Japan chick had the nerve to throw a bag at me. We didn't have a problem before. I was watching her to the side of my eyes. But now, we have a problem today, tomorrow, and the day after that. Bitch, stop playing with me. Bitch, and I told you, anything you want to do, hug about all that dumb shit. Bitch, stop playing with me. Keep playing with me like I'm somebody to be playing with. Bitch, I'm not going to play with this hoe. I played that girl. I did not want to go that way. She was picking with me from the time I came in, sir. No, sir, no. Just let it go. I tried to be nice, I tried to be grown, but Spicy just kept throwing them stupid ass sarcastic jabs. Now we stuck here in Texas with some real problems. Big ol' go. Y'all have an albatross, the this big ol' octopus, rude. Our hearts are still on, still. So Bice and I are back together and we making up a lot of time and it really feels so good to have my partner back for real. <laughs> You know, it wasn't really easy being a new girl in the egg. And it was a lot of times where I just wanted to pack all my shit up and go back to New Orleans. But I'm a fighter, baby. I always have been, always will be. Look, I'm putting the time and putting the work up to the ground. I got something really cute for Tom. Like, hopefully, it'll put a smile on Tommy's face as soon as she get here. Do anything, but don't look at me, but you want to look in this angle. Nice. What? Yeah. Nice. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh. Give me some Look up this Give way for me, please. Nice. Good. Good. Bring it down. Bring it down. Laughter. Laughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Nice. Yeah, Couple more. Say, hey, Tasha's here. What's up, boo? Come on, man. Join the family. You over here posted with a bitch? I'm going to turn up on your now. Shut the up. You not going to piss me off too, bitch. You think you're too big? It was gonna be a sit down, but this is like so
so epic right now. I got you an old costume and everything. Like, just join us. You no, know, it ain't like y'all got it. I'm gonna sit this one out. I was told that I was coming to have a sit down with Versace and I was willing to give her another chance to apologize. I never agreed to the family portrait ambush bull. If my family wants to pretend that we don't have any problems and smile for the camera, that's on them. But Tommy don't do that fake. There's some things that have not been discussed. I'm out. No, man. You play a on, lot Tasha, of games. You play so many games. You think life is a this joke. This is not a game. Can we talk this for a second, Tasha? What's up, Versace? What's up, guys? She just oh, now talk. it's an ambush. No, it's not. No, I just want to talk to It's not an ambush. It's never going to be an ambush. You know I'm not with that. You don't have to take your jacket off, Ain't nobody with all that family fight. No, we're not What's doing that. All I want is for my kids to pose for 30 seconds so we can just have a nice family photo. But of course, Tommy walks in with this huge attitude. And I knew when I saw her, she was drinking. And ain't no reason that would hurt when she's in that state of mind. She agreed to talk with Versace when she was sober, but now she's not even open to it. This apology has no hope of working out. Oh, oh, we want you to join us in the family photo. That's it. Why you just can't do that? You don't be the main speaker. It's not about you, because talking to you will get me totally irate right now. OK. Yeah. All right. Fine. What's up? I just feel like as a family, we should all, like, coexist. Like, what is, it's just turned into a lot. Like, I love you as a sister, and I feel like I apologize about what happened, but I feel like you should apologize as well. Oh, no, I'm not going to ever do that. Because I have okay, done well, nothing Okay, well, then I don't feel like we should Good. do this. Good. Like, we don't. Good. I'm not kissing no bitch ass. Why are you still here? Get out. No, bitch. Get out. Get out. Get out. Please. Please calm Please. your Please. up. What you the fuck? I don't you. Right. I never will. For what? what? Bitch. Just don't have dirty in the clear. Bitch, you can't even wash your ass. Who apologized to bitch? Who got no money, bitch? All I wanted was a genuine apology for the shit that she put me through. But she's not even woman enough to do that. She wants to act like a motherfucking wolf. But she already know I'm a motherfucking lion and I will shred that bitch. Oh, that oh, round, you hope. Tasha, it's not gonna you be in the You will never round. shut the it's up. You about to piss me off too, bitch. You about to piss me off, bitch. Hold up. Who the, the you think you talking to, bitch? Who the fuck you talking to, bitch? Who the fuck you talking to, What you talking about? You hoe? Eat that same energy, hoe! That bitch. You so weak, weird ass. Yeah, it's it's okay, we, it's over. Swear okay. to God. I don't know why you tried to beg oh, me to come here, mom. Why I tried to the bring you to, to do a, a family photo? You calm down, we can talk about it, okay? Because. I don't want to talk about because I'll beat the whole ass again. Everybody's looking like, what in the hell? What kind of family is this? The whole. Energy should have been about love today. I mean, it's just no words to explain it. Like, we cannot keep trying to reconcile with you. You are tearing this family apart. Bitch, I raised your daughter for five years, bitch. What the you doing for me? You ain't sending out a tampon or nothing for her. Not a goddamn food stamp or nothing. I forgive my mom for everything we went through. I bought her a car, I got her a place, I even took care of my siblings. You know, I kind of held down my whole family and it's just like, this is the thanks I get. I don't need, you know, my mother's relationship anymore. I'm just good. Say the f around me. What, is this on pause or this how she looking for real? That's how she looking for real. She mad? Come on with it. What the hell going on? on? I'm really mad. Why? Three hours, you can't be so late. Come on, Three? that's up, that's really up. I'm so mad right now. Three hours. That's a long time. My bad, man. I was I had to get ready, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get ready for tree. Oh, I mean, stand up out. Oh, we have you. Tree, I work for my pig, everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? You had to go what? Y'all tell me say you're late for a pig? I don't, I don't know what's on the pig. Oh, 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 oh. This one going crazy. My you pig was sick. Pig. That's my son. That's my son. No. no. Worse when you're walking three to four hours late and you're like, what's going on, Spice? Seems drunk to me. You better have a better excuse than a pig. That's a pig! I have a, a pig! pig. It's a pig! You crazy? You said come here from 10 o'clock. So I got up at 8. And you're home with a pig? <laughs> I don't mean to 
laugh and spice face, but she freaking out over my pig. I woke up this morning and my pig was sick and he was throwing up, so I thought he might be having a heart attack. So I wanted to make sure he was good. I got here as soon as I could and Spice really needs to chill. I'm not doing no video. I'm not doing nothing. You can't call us the video. All no. right, I know. I'm late, so you're gonna ruin the whole song? You're late? You're gonna apologize for being late? I got mad love for Tommy. And I think she has a lot of talent. But she's gonna make the love for alcohol get in the way of the love for the music. All right, I apologize, though. No, no, no. You can't apologize, so. And you Drink. Why you keep drinking? I that piss me off. Drink. And then they tell me stupidness. God ah, damn, bro, I can't do nothing right. I had fake friends try to accuse me of being an alcoholic in the past, and this is just what that feels like. I am not a alcoholic. Give me this ah. drink. Give me this drink. You need to stop drinking, and you need to sit the down let and me, get yourself me, together. I know we here to work, but I was expecting this video to be fun. I don't give a damn what her concerns is. This hold on through my mother's drink. I thought I was coming to chill with Bob Marley people. Stop saying Bob Marley people. Bob Marley people don't roll this way, OK? I know. They cool, calm, and collected. May I talk to you straight up? Me and you been in at the studio, and I've seen what you're doing. I believe in the song. I can see the song going places. But everything I'm going to up if this is what you're going to do. Yeah. Not everybody are going to stand up and wait for you for three hours, Tommy. So you have to get your together. Yeah, you right, 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 right. The last time Mr. Tommy was at Jack's salon opening, I've been finishing up the editing to our music video all by myself, because Tommy is missing in action. How you doing, love? What up? It's really kind of crazy if you see Tommy just a walking, like she not have no care in the world. I'm going to need to keep an eye on Tommy, because something is just not right here. OK, <laughs> so. My press store in Atlanta. We are expanding and I'm moving into a larger space. Can Yay! you believe it? Oh my God. So I'm happy to announce that I'm having a grand opening for our press that I'm opening in Houston. Okay. And I want okay. all of you to come on me. Oh! Even me? Even you, bitch. Even What's this in here? Thing. It's Chardonnay. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay, so last thing is Tommy. This is why I can't. And we haven't even left Atlanta. But I know that it's been a lot going on. I know in my life, I know y'all been fighting a bit with each other. And everybody's fighting. You know, you know whatever everything is. is big in Texas, though, right? I know. That's why I want to go to a big dude shopping. ranch. Oh, what? A dude, dude ranch? ranch. Oh, what? Yes. What the f? Oh, listen. It ain't no lavish, so don't come at me that way. Is it like a farm and like yeah. real? We gonna yeah. get into the earth. But wait, I just what the f we can't gonna get a, a ranch. Put on some booty shorts and a mother plant on some cowboy boots and a hat. After all that I've been through this last year, I just wanna have some fun. And I'm thinking, taking all these crazy ladies to a dude ranch is gonna be hilarious. I did invite Sean, BK. Oh, Sean, my Sean. Sean, yes. Yeah. Uh, who else? Her Sean. Um, <laughs> is that Sean now? She's such a troublemaker. Sean has always been my Sean. Tommy, if you want Sean, you can have him. Take him, please. I got something to tell y'all, because you inviting Sean on this trip. The other day, we supposed to be going on a double date. I tell this one to come. She's saying she bringing a boo. She double coming there with Tobias. Tokyo man? I mean, I don't know him. I was just, like, getting to know him. Anyway, what I'm trying to tell you guys is during the double date, Sean and I got into it, right? Because, you know, my mouth is hot. Sean tells me, listen, we just going to do the music. We not together no more. OK, cool. Okay, so, so that's the a lot of that drama. That's that's a lot. Lot. a lot. OK, so listen. <laughs> What I want to try to do when we're there, I don't know if everybody in this room's relationships are crispy and clean and clear, Honey. but I'm hoping that everybody being together, we can just air everything out. As long as you don't buy a ticket for the pig. What, what pig? Or, or a pig. This selfish. <laughs> I'm not selfish, it's a pig. Listen, this that pig so made me wait three hours. My pig was having a heart attack. This girl go crazy like it ain't no living being with a heart. You're out of line, Spice. You're out of line. Okay, you're totally I'm out pig. of line. I'm going to tell you where I think you're out of line. I need you to take this music more seriously. You've been MIA. You keep going missing. The video, stop laughing, because you know that's what pissed me off. <laughs> so, are you guys good? I don't know. <laughs> We're trying to be good. Come on now. I finally went through all the book that I went through with Tommy to finish this music video, and we're planning a video release party. Where are we Tommy will put her Tommy together. It's going to be tree much where at the Wow. Where?
awkward. Erica, this is very simple. Everybody's here just chilling and sipping on some wine. And Tommy is already smashed. You already got a chance to work with Spice, and now you coming at her with a Like, come on. Tommy, I love you. I need time to fill on your butt. Scrap. That's what I, I want to see. I got more products with my glam squad than I got with these bitches. So you doing this bitch makeup and she telling you that you her best friend on Instagram? Wait, what? What happened? If she love you, you better make that bitch look like a goddamn Michael she Jordan about? poster, bitch. I'm gonna shut your whole house down. You know I know where y'all live at. Who you talking to? Okay. So I know where y'all live at. It's gonna be a real situation. Right? Hey, Tommy. Quote me, bitch. Tommy. Quote me, bitch. Tommy! Bitch, I gotta go to jail tonight. None of y'all hoes is Don't go to jail, like you. Tommy. Don't no. go to jail. I'm going We don't jail. want you to go to jail. Why are you going to jail? Come here. Come here. Come here. I want to go to jail with you. Tommy, don't go to jail. Come on, man. Calm down. Can I, somebody give me a little something? Can I cheer to the Lord to say, Lord, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but we're going to do with these crazy bitches. Can we cheers to the 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 Do you have a sense of what we're here to discuss? No, give me, me, fill me in. There's some concerns about your drinking and some of the behavior associated with that. There was an incident, some violence and that kind of a thing. Oh uh, yeah, that, um... It seems like when these incidents have happened, you've been drinking, and that's really the concern. 88,000 people a year die drinking. I know, it's it runs in my family, alcoholism okay. runs deep. How does that look? I guess for me, it's embarrassing. Embarrassing that you But family like members. I'm shy, so sometimes I just drink to be a little more social. Like what else does alcohol do for you? I don't know, it helped me cope with a lot of things that's going on in my life. Okay. I mean there's so many things, you know what I mean? I, I don't even though I got a big family or whatever, like I don't really have like a lot of um support or whatever and like you know to deal with the thoughts of my mom you know what i'm saying What's... not liking me hating me like and the shit that i'm going through with my brothers and sisters like how how big my heart is open to everybody like they don't feel the same way about me so that kind of like that hurts every time i go through this stuff it hurts me i'm not proud of it there is no shame in asking for help there's no shame drinking has created situations on the show, with the cast, with the crew, et cetera, that are not good for the show. And really, Tommy, it's not good for you. I mean, yeah. ultimately, you're the one paying the price. I'm totally sorry for everybody that I fucked up on this show, insecurity, and I'm not a violent person. Looking back and what happened in the incident, you know, that led up to me, you know, threatening and his wife and all of that. And, putting my hands on him because we have a really great relationship. It was just like ugly to think about, but I was just like so in my feelings when I left that scene. I really don't mess with hard liquor like that, but I was drinking Hennessy. It was just like, I have to uh, just, just, you know what I mean? Let me not think about this. And I do not want to fight, but in the whole time, you know what I mean? I'm just getting drunker, so it ended just like that. To be clear, for you to be part of the show, there is no drinking at work to continue on you can't be any more drinking. <laughs> How does that feel? No comment. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? It feels like Eastern thinks that I'm an alcoholic, but it's mm. all good because we know it's something I got to work on. So. Do you think you're an alcoholic? No, I don't, and I'm not. OK. So I just feel like just, just stay tuned <laughs> and watch the new developments, and it's going to be different. <laughs>
Like, why haven't you in the past decided? Well, the stakes are higher right now. Like, um, I don't know how to weigh it up, but like, my mom, I just don't want to see my mom die and stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't ever, like, make her proud. And I don't ever, <laughs> like, all of this shit I got to put her through, like, all this shit we all have been through, like, it's just so embarrassing. Even if she not the best mother in other people's eyes and everything, like, that's the only, like, mother that I have. She's and I, your mother. Though. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I just want to make her proud. Like, I know this shit, even if we don't get along, like, this just probably make her feel like she fell. I gotta do something, like, this is serious. Can I level with you? Yeah, go ahead. I think you have a drinking problem. Anybody who has alcoholism in their family needs to be very conscious of that for themselves. I feel like this is gonna plague you, Tommy. And I get it's not easy to hear. <laughs> you don't know anything, man. I'm just gonna prove you wrong. Okay. What's up, man? Hey, me and my mom, we've made up. My mom said she had some important things that she wanted to talk to all of the kids about, and I have some important things I want to get off my chest as well. And I know I have a lot of relationships to fix. You look pretty. Thank you, you too. What's going on? You know how it's important for me, for everybody to get along. I have Versace coming through. I have something to talk to y'all about, and I need for y'all to get along. I'm just done with this whole situation. I want things to be right. OK. Being suspended from filming was a wake-up call that I do have to change some things. And you know, at the end of the day, no matter how wrong Versace's done me, it doesn't feel good beefing with my little sister. I'm ready to work things out, and since the only beverage that's being served is ginger ale, I think everything should be calm. What's up, Sachi? What's up? Everybody looks beautiful. What's oh, going on? Right? You too. <laughs> Versace, like, we never not had a sister relationship, so all of this is new to me. But it's some things that you did that really hurt me to the point where we got where we were. This point in my life, it's a lot of pressure. I don't want to have to come home and deal with it inside of my my family. Right. And yeah, my mom here. and my, you know what I mean? It's over with for me. Sure. I do genuinely like apologize about the situation that happened. Like, I love you and you raised me, so I don't want to fight with you. You know, I've been going through so much stuff outside of y'all. Rashida had this big luncheon and I got into a big situation. As always, you know, I drank a lot that day. You know, they kind of like suspended me. You know, I apologize to those people, anybody that I put my hands on because I was wrong. But like, if I'm in an argument of space or I'm in a bad situation, I got to find a better way to manage my anger. And so basically, everybody like kind of went to Texas. And I met with this guy named Joe. And he's like, um, I guess, a life intervention type of person. He sat down with me. He's telling me that I'm and alcoholic. Oh, Lord. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Yes. But it is a disease. Do you feel like that you are, you have a, the alcoholism disease? Would you let somebody tell you that you're an alcoholic? Yeah, I would. So Sometimes I feel like an alcoholic if I can't get out of bed without a drink, if I can't go to sleep without a drink. Alcohol that took a lot of lives in our family. Yeah. We got to break the cycle. You know, I promised myself that if I ever felt one pain caused by drinking, that I was gonna quit. And that's what I did. You felt the pain from drinking? That's where it started. But that was just my body trying to let me know something was going on. So. What's going on? I went to the doctor, and they're running some tests because wow. they think it might be something serious. So I don't wanna put it out into the universe because, you know, I'm a fighter. Regardless, I don't care what it is. My health has been failing for a long time, but I kept it to myself, because I don't want to worry my kids, especially Tommy. She has a lot on her plate. I'm still not sure exactly what is wrong, but if any good come of this, maybe it'll be a wake-up call for Tommy to get her drinking and her health in order before it's too late. 
I'm getting a lot of tests done, and I had the mammogram already. I'm going for the colonoscopy, the endoscopy, and some more things, some biopsies and stuff. So I need for you guys just to be strong. This is crazy, man. This is life. It's going to be all right. Hearing what she's going through right now, I feel like disgusted and um, the time that we spent arguing and fighting over nonsense, I feel like hurt, I feel ashamed, I feel like, you know what I mean? I feel like I just gotta fix it and I just gotta make it right. I love y'all. I love you too. Never wanted to beef with Spice. The music video release party got pushed back due to some circumstances, but I'm here to make it up today. I'm not sure if I'm walking into a room full of judgment or support. All I could do for now is keep trying to be my best self, they like it or not. Okay. Hey, oh girl. My God. <laughs> let you guys know, like, um, I got a lot going on. I know the last event when you were going to Houston, the launch your store and all that, I hate that I couldn't be a part of that and everything. Like, my life is, is a lot different from all of you guys. And, you know, like, my biggest thing is, like, people think I'm just some crazed alcoholic, everything. Like, OK, I drink, but you know what I mean? I'm dealing with stuff. Right, right. So basically, I'm just I'm just trying to right my wrongs. And it's, it's probably going to take some time, but that's, like, what I'm working on, but this music and the venture that I'm taking with you, it means the most to I me right that. now. I know it's been a long road for us. It has and been. you really feeling like I don't really care, but like this is like my my baby, this is my heart, this is my passion right here. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm about to cry too. I you believe so in you. <laughs> me and Tommy, we've been through a lot, but at the end of the day, the truth is. I have real love for this girl. I've done over a thousand videos. I've never done a video. Every okay. last video I've seen from you is Tommy. horrible, honey. Oh, Every oh, last really? one of them. But you don't okay, have none. Every last My one of them. My highest video is 77 million views. Type some of bitch. Cares. Google it. And that's us. You bitch. Let's you two and call the mother f***. That's a number one. How about that? Can't beat me. No, no, no. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing, bitch? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? No, 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 no. I'm out of here. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Back up, everybody. Back up. Let's not have no scene. Just back the up. Back the up. Get the out of here, bitch. You got the up. And I'm trying to disrespect my mother. People, everybody treat you bitch. You disrespect me over your whole mother. So what? Let me disrespect your piece of Don't worry about me. You did that. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna f you. Show me a s me, bitch. You have a nasty attitude. Stop blaming me for your attitude. Get out of here. Like I okay. said, right. our friend them can't tell her the truth. But Tommy, problem is nobody is willing to stand up to her and tell her the truth. Everybody fake. That's the problem. Okay. So when somebody come where is willing to tell her problem. the truth to her face, she have a problem with it. Problem, okay. And that's I don't the got problem no between problem. me and her. I don't got no problem that's with nobody problem. coming at me 100%. You the You're lying. Words. That's your problem. Let's try to get to the misunderstanding so that we can get beneath that. When she came and was talking that she was late because her pig was sick and saying, that's my son, and the pig was vomiting, I thought it was a joke because it sounds like a joke to me. What triggered everything was when she was making videos on Instagram saying, Oh, Spice making me look like an alcoholic. So I sent her a DM. Can I say something? Because I thought we were going OK. I'm just, just now coming out as an artist. So basically, what you're saying about me being late and all of that stuff, like, that's going to affect me. People it has been challenging. That. That's what I keep saying, and I'm still going to say it. And why you want me to say otherwise? Who cares? Whatever. Who cares? My energy good, my face good. Uh-huh. Pop star Spice, what you doing on Love & Hip Hop, bae? What you doing on I'm it? I'm doing real good, baby. That's what I'm doing with it. I want no pop star from okay. Jamaica and came on Love & Hip Hop in America. Oh, please. That's a fact. You've been on it for years yeah. now. Where you depend it, I do? Calm down, down honey. Right. Calm down, you need honey. to calm down. Get rid of them wigs. You need to calm down. Your bracelet's I'm squeezing. I'm not going to keep going back and forth right. with you, Spice. I'm not. All right. I didn't want to say anything to the girls because I don't know for sure, but I wasn't not drinking at Spice's show because I was detoxing. 
For the past couple of weeks, I've just not been feeling good. I've been nauseous, tired. So today, I'm taking a test, and I have a good feeling it's a baby in there. Well, this test need to hurry up, because I need to see right now. Yeah, I need to know, too. I think I am. I feel just bloated. I'm just tired. My breast just feels sore. It looks so good. <laughs> you ready to lose your body? Babe, I'm going to bounce back like my mama. Speaking of her, you ain't even talk to your mama. And I ain't going to talk to her. My mom and I have always had a complicated relationship. She sent me to juvie when I was in high school, judged me like crazy when I was dancing, and now that I'm grown, we still haven't found a way to get on the same page. When it comes to my mama, it's just me dealing with her and her attitude. My mama's not finna stress me out, especially if I'm pregnant, but it's like, I know at this point in time, if I am pregnant, I'm gonna need my mother. You gonna need a village if you're pregnant. You need some help, because I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be working somewhere. Sean was a first-round pick when he joined the league back in 2006, but the last time he played an NBA game was about two years ago. He had some stumbles, but now he's making a run to get back in the game. You finna be gone. I'm finna have to finish playing in the wedding by myself. I got a lot of music I gotta put out. I got a lot of videos I gotta put out. This is a lot. I'm gonna hold you down most definitely. I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of, you know, what you hustled up on. Oh, don't make me cry. You gotta cry. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I need to see these results, cause I might be crying for nothing. I don't know. I'm scared to death. Prego. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I knew it. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you too. Mm. <laughs> hey. Hey, Jay Bird. How you doing? <laughs> hey, mom. I should have known Sean was up to no good. I haven't spoken to my mom in months. And that's nothing new. Our relationship has been strained for years. But Sean feels like I need my mom more than ever now. Personally, I don't think I need the stress. It's a beautiful house, Jessica. Thank it's you. Gorgeous. What you doing here? Sean flew me down. Did he? He knows that we haven't seen each other in over a year. Mm -hmm. and we haven't spoken in months. Sean wants us to get whatever it is straightened out, Just Yeah. When I was in New York, I said some things you probably didn't like, that you sent me to Juvenile. You called and you said you were upset about him, and you said some things, I said some things, and we haven't talked since then. You know, Jessica, this has been going on for almost two decades. Yeah. We have our times where we'll fall out because you want things to go how you want it to go. You're a little controlling sometimes. I was taken aback when I found out you were dancing. What I did was I asked God to protect you from all danger, seen and unseen, and that's what he's done. Yeah. I'm really, really proud of you, and I want you to understand that. This is from my heart. Thank you. It's good to hear that, because he was so mad at me about it for so long. You'll never be able to understand how I felt mm -hmm. until you become a mother yourself. Well, I may know sooner than you think. Why? Cause I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm getting ready to be a grandmother. <laughs> oh, Jessica! <laughs> Thank you. I'm relieved to finally share my pregnancy with my mom. And to see her so happy about it, it really warms my heart. And now that I'm about to become a mother myself, I finally see where she was coming from. What you crying about? <laughs> Cause it's just a, it's a happy time. Yeah, but it is a happy time. It's a lot to deal with. Well, I'll be coming back and forth. Well, good. I really will. Said I'm gonna be a grandma. It doesn't get any better than that, Jessica. Hopefully, we can keep this going. Yeah, we are going to keep it going. <laughs> Jaybird, <laughs> your hug, baby. Water everywhere leaking. It just won't stop coming. <sighs> Dr. Jackie. Yes? I'm headed to the hospital now. I had to get myself together. Man, the day is here. Dime is going into labor right now. It's here. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to expect. It's cramping a little bit. 
Just cracking a little bit. You scared? I'm not nervous. Is she sleeping? She moving? She was. She ain't moving now, though. She probably ready to come on out. She was kind of calm, you know, at first, but I'm knowing deep down inside that my baby nervous, so I'm just there, you know, being cool and just trying to comfort her. We here. I was getting a little nervous, but hey, I said a prayer and just put it in God's hand. I'm overwhelmed, I'm excited, and I can't wait to be a mother. I can't wait to see her face, kiss her little cheeks, and just spoil her. I cannot wait, I can't wait to see who she's gonna look like. I just want her to be healthy and happy and a beautiful baby. Strength, so I can make sense of it all. Congratulations. Yes. Here's the joy. I like it. This little girl is a blessing in my life and in our family. This right here is the kind of love that I've never known. been completely ignoring me since the Panamanian parade. I guess he's trying to get back at me for booking the event without him. So I was very surprised to get a phone call asking me to meet him at the studio. But I told him I was ready, so I'm here. What you been up to? I've been busy. Working? Working, of course. OK, OK. I invited Erica Mena here today in hopes that it would spark a fire underneath Esther Leader's ass. I still believe in her talent, but she's going rogue. She's got to remember that the good guy's in charge, and it's a thousand women ready to take her place if she's not willing to listen to what I'm telling her. Do you have any songs ready for me? I've been, actually, I got five new Latin songs. Oh, really? OK, got, well, why yeah. I haven't heard about them? Maybe now's not the right time. It seems like you're mad or something. No, I'm not you know mad. I just think it's time to cut the bull because you haven't done anything. You're dealing with somebody that's been doing on her own since she was 15 years old. I don't need nobody to hold Hello. me. Hello. But I thought. What's up? What's up, Hello. Erica? How you doing? Erica Mena is the last person I expected to see in my studio session. So I'm wondering what the f is Stevie's up to. Are you surprised? Very. This is somebody I consider like a sister to me. But we fell out over something so stupid, and she hasn't spoken to me in months. So did you come here to tell me that you thought about what we talked about? So let me get this straight. So you're supposed to meet up with me, uh -huh. but you invite Erica. What are you trying to do here? By the look of Estelita's face, it's obvious she had no idea I was coming. I may not be friends with the girl, but I didn't want to ambush her. And that's exactly what this looks like. Can you explain to her why I'm here? Because, you know, you can be the face, and you know what I'm saying? The star Danger Zone. This is Danger Zone 2.0, baby. You the face of that and all that. This is the type of game that Stevie loves to play. Stevie knows that Eric and I fell out, and he just mad at me because I asked him to do his job. I thought I was coming here to hear what you guys been working on. Is there anything for me to hear? Not a thing, girl. Sure he claims fun. to have five songs that I still haven't heard. I've been down this road once before, and it seems all too familiar. I just have to ask. Are you guys f***ing each other in any time? Because honestly, it just seems like... Absolutely not. I mean, when I first met him, we had a little, you know what I'm saying? Ah, 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 ah. I don't recall. So you're saying there's nothing, but he's saying there's something. I have a feeling they did, but after witnessing how Stevie treats her, I'm not even mad at her that she doesn't even admit it. I certainly wouldn't. You know, I really think this is really funny, Stevie, trying to put me against Erica and trying to start some and then for you, Erica, it's so funny to me that you and I used to be cool, and now you coming out here, it makes me feel like you are against me. Because like, did you come here to sh on I me, I came Erica? here not because I wanted to come here. I came here uh, in the motion of trying to see what the f he was doing with you. Don't think I haven't been checking up on you. And don't think I don't have love for you. And the only reason why I came is because I wanted to see what the f he's been doing for you. He hasn't been, been doing jack though. At the end of the day, I feel like you and I need to do a one-on-one -on -one and stay out of this bullshit. No, because no, 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 I feel no, no. like, yes, we do shots. I'm, I'm, I'm the middle man. I ain't no, you ain't in the middle of oh, together. Who? Me. 
I love you, this. bro. At the end of the day, I'm out of here. Let me, for the shut up, Stevie. Shut the conference up, call. Shut the goodbye. Bye, bye. Don't give a f about anything you're saying right now. This is what I didn't want to happen. First, Stevie had Erica ambush my session. Now he got us walking up in here into another girl's rehearsal. Playing games like this is exactly what I'm not gonna do with Stevie. This is Brittany. This Hi. is Erica. Hi. How are you? Another artist I'm working with. I'm just let you know she's signed MMG. She's ready to go and we're on board to do some music. She been doing this. How many years you been doing this? About seven. Stevie, I come here and I see you working with another artist. Did you forget that you made me the first lady of Danger Zone? I'm representing your Latin division. But it seems like you want to hey, sign everybody, Stevie. You want to sign a bunch of artists? I, don't, I, don't, I feel like I could work on multiple artists at one time. I came here to talk to you, though. I'm talking about Estelita. I signed a contract with you. If you're not going to deliver, we're not going to move forward. We're not. You got everything it takes. It's just going to take time. And I had the ambition, and I'm ready to I, put in the so work. So did it just happen for you overnight, Brittany? Did no. It? Took a lot of hard work and time put in to did get here. Did you just automatically and start working? And it ain't come from now to get to the top. You say what? For sure. I said that's it took a lot of time saying. and hard work to get where I'm at. When they mention okay. that, that's yeah. really because they're guilty. OK, well, nobody's talking about no fucking. but at the end okay. of the day, well, I'm, I'm just letting it be clear. Anyway. Can you be clear on your shoe size? Because, bitch, it's your a shoes are way big too enough small. to fit in your mouth. Then why are they clawing out like your shoe? Size no, yeah. These are, are the right size. I'm like... fashion over outfit, girl. Girl, this ain't come from fashion okay. over. Bitch, your feet are gripping the ground for dear life. Please, my outfit is fine, boo. I look bitch, great. you look girl, like a please. $2 piece you of shit. You don't fucking match, bitch. Connect the dots on your face. You still want me to You know why you got an yeast infection on your face? I'm, hey, 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 This is, this is my bus. Exactly, respect the boss, bitch. Get these my up out of here. They can't even my session, bitch. You know what? Stevie is never going to stop playing games. I giving him enough chances. Once I figure out how to get myself out of this contract, I'm going to move forward and never look back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. I stood up there and ragged this bitch and take her off her fucking wig, bitch. Girl, please. Yeah, see you later. Bitch. Bitch. Right. Bye. You Bye. get a single, bitch. Bye. See ya. Oh, hey. How are you? Good to see Hi. you. Hi. <laughs> I decided that working with Keely on the showcase would be the best approach. Here's to hoping that the two of us can get these artists to stop beefing and focus on the music. Hi, guys. Hello there. All right. I called this meeting because Stevie told us that he might have to go away. Right. He said he wanted to do a showcase. Mm -hmm. And he wanted, of course, you there and you there. And he also said he wanted you there. We're all women in music. And I think if all of us stay on the same page, we'll be all good. I think it's cool. I think, I mean, honestly, I see potential in any type of situation where women can come together, whether we agree with each other or like each other or not. Our last encounter with Britney, it wasn't a great one. Sometimes you put in a situation thinking one thing, so you have to be a certain way. No, y'all came in there. No, like, I, no, I came in hold there. Hold on, hold on. We, let her talk. We walked in there. I'm like, okay, let me talk to Stevie. And next thing you know, you and her got into it. And then next thing you know, you like, okay, you host. And I'm just like, yo, like. I felt very disrespected for you guys to come in there. Some of the things that Erica was saying, she don't even know me. Is oh, this your artist? Be able to no. Because honestly, like, I, she I need need some. Because I'm a, I'm a Latin some PR artist. Skills. I sing in Spanish. Girl, see it that they put for food. Bitch. Speak Spanish the real way. Go take care of your done, you dummy. Too. Bitch, I am. Bitch, whatever. <laughs> Bitches got me f***ed up. What you're not going to do is poke the beast out of hibernation. That's what you're not going to do. But if you want to, bitch, do it. Because I'm Come out of hibernation in life. I dare you. I am trying my hardest not to become that old Erica Mena and really hold myself together. But one thing you can't say is that I'm not a damn good mother. How are we going to highlight it? Because Clearly. I'm the first lady of Danger Zone Latina, so I feel like I should be the highlighter. You're the first lady of Danger Zone, period. Right. If you want to be the opener, no, let, let's I'm make not going to be the opener. I'm going to be the main act. Oh, oh I'm going to be the main there's act. Not be a, there's, <laughs> listen, there's not going to be a main act. Please, let it be a Danger Zone show. Headlining. Enchilada. OK. Enchilada. OK, Shanae-Nae. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Shanae-Nae! Hold on, hold on. Bitch, that's Shanae-Nae! That's what the f you are! A joke, bitch. You a joke. Look at me. You're not the artist, bitch. You're not the artist, bitch. Look at me and look at you. Look at it. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, bitch. What? How you doing? You look like a fool, bitch. And there it is. This is why I don't get involved in Stevie's mess. Get her out of here. Throw the whole bitch away. And the cup. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Yo, go! Hey! Yo, go! Hey! 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 H
fighting, I knew exactly what that was about. Ivana is very protective, and she saw the DM that Erica sent me, so when she saw her, she handled it. Come on, just walk on that side. It's not your bedtime, baby. I got it. Hey, bitch, keep talking, homie. Be quiet. Just shut your up, bitch. Stop. Stop. It's not in these little girls' bedtime. You better check your little steps. You better check the house. 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 Stevie being the little bitch that he is, I set up the perfect trap. I decided to send Stevie a little DM and let him know that he's officially going to be my bitch since he wants to talk about me around town. Stevie showed everyone this DM, including his daughter. Now she's cranky and out her playpen trying to come at me. I'm really confused about what just happened. That's what happens when little girls are out past their bedtime. Erica Mena is so protective over her son that she was ready to fight just Britney just for talking about him. But here she is, fighting Stevie J's daughter, Savannah. I've seen other women in Stevie's life get tangled up about the kids and it didn't go well. So this is a pretty sticky situation for Miss Erica Mena. Hey! I really want to know what Erica's problem is, you know what I'm saying, provoking my daughter. Erica should be mature enough to just walk away. She in the 40s club, you know what I'm saying? Come on. I'm so confused still. I think Vonda felt some type of way. She be in my DMs and reading my messages from Erica. You shouldn't be asking questions about me. The only thing There's I ask no is if you should sing a song. That's all you I ask. You didn't ask that when you asked me to be part of Danger Zone, did you? Yeah. So why ask it now? That's a bitch move. I wanted move. to know. No, That's a bitch ain't move. Ain't nothing So me. if I wanted to, I could make you my bitch, but I'm not going to do that. My daughter was going to drag you. Uh, your daughter no, needs milk. Stop. We're not doing that. You that in the town, I wouldn't you with your daddy. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Bitch, that's oh, disrespectful. Watch your mouth. Oh, bitch, I'll treat you like a bitch. Real simple. I, I, this is not about this. I'm not about to sit here and do this, girl. Originally, tonight was supposed to be my showcase, but since I refused to sign Stevie's ridiculous contract, I was uninvited. But since Enchiladas and Eric Camacho business was so supportive at my show in Houston, <laughs> I decided to support them tonight. Oh, look at who's coming. Oh, she coming? What's up? Hello. How you doing? Is she coming? Hi. Hey, Ronald, Sally McDonald. Excuse me? Please, go back to Houston and go get on a uh, sugar bitch, bitch, hole. Girl, bitch, girl, whatever. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Anyways. Why are you here? You're not welcome. Why the you here, bitch? You, you bitches, mother. I bitch, I'm in this mother. Exactly why I came tonight. <laughs> Ting! The Taco Tuesday twins wanted to come to Houston, start drama in my performance, <laughs> and I'm just returning the favor. Have a good night, ladies. Today is supposed to be about peace and love. And I'm very happy for Sean and Don. But one of the guests at the shower has been making my life a little less than peaceful. And it's time for me to address it. Steven, how are you? <laughs> I let Sean Garrett slide at the Danger Zone showcase because I was too busy dealing with Erica. But really, all this drama and beefing with Erica is his fault. The only reason why Erica mad at me anyway is because Sean Garrett went back to her and said I asked if she could sing or not. That shit ain't cool, Sean. So, Sean, did you hear about the DM your new artist sent me? What did her DM even say? I always knew you was my bitch. Just that talking to me. Called you a bitch. I'm a grown ass man with yeah. six kids. But I'm gonna make you my bitch. You wanna talk about me? Be ready because now you're really with the wrong one, homie. 
Well, what happened for her to send that to you? I'm confused. I mean, I told Sean, I'm like, yo, can she sing? You ask because she yeah, sing, yeah. that's it? I yeah, never that's it. Sing. Have you no, she got no. mad? Well, I don't really pass judgment. <laughs> You're the only that. person I told that to. I mean, straight up, bro, I, I let her know what you told me. When we talk about the artists don't need to know what we talking about. It's just boss to boss, right. producer to producer. Hold on, homeboy. So you basically homeboy. saying you got an issue with me? Is this really going on right now? Did y'all forget we're at a baby shower? I'm telling you, you're the only person that could have told her something. Look, we not going to go back and forth. I ain't big enough to stop oh. it. <laughs> That's real talk. I'm looking at what's going on. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'd rather just keep the peace. If you're not going to go back like and forth. Hold on, hold on, man. Move out of the way. Uh-uh. Okay. We, 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 we can get it. You already know what time it is, playboy. What time is it? What, what you want? Do what you want? You want whatever do. you want. It's her baby what shower. What you want? Don't give a Don't ever give a I'm going to show you what a bitch is. What is a bitch? I'm going to show you what a bitch is. See your heart beat through your shirt. Never disrespect me. We let the do the girls and the men do the men's so he might as well put a skirt on. Oh, do you want this food? I beat your mother ass. This Sean Garrick dude next to me, away with him. No drama at the Queen's table. Hey, yo, let me apologize to her, man. Now you're an actor, right? Denzel. Give it up for Denzel. Yo, Sean, my bad. What's up, Sean? No disrespect to your baby shower. Oh, no. Oh, gotta be addressed, man. I be damned. This is not the time or the place for all this ruckus to be going on. Have a little class, honey. I don't know what just happened. That was bizarre. Yeah. TV, let me ask you a question. What made you think bringing Erica and Esalita to a session with just Britney was a good idea? I just wanted Esalita to see that I was working with other artists just to put some fire up under it so and she could take her career a little more serious, too. You know okay. what I mean? So, Britney, do you feel like you're on a different level in your career than they are? Definitely. Like, I've never heard a song from any one of these girls. Yes. She had a whole and lying ass Are you a fake ass I have bitch. receipts. You waited online no, to take pictures bitch. with Nobody. me, baby. Oh, yeah. You can short one of them. All right, Shut up. All right, so Brittany, let me ask you a question. When they came in and then they were talking about your face, your shoes, did you feel attacked? When they came in my session, I felt really ambushed. She brought that onto herself. Why are you mentioning I didn't have to <laughs> to the top? Like, no one was talking about <laughs> She was <laughs> with Stevie the whole time. That's really why she was in her feelings. Is that true? Please bring, what, what, please bring the receipts. It's so please. clear. You're saying no, that she confessed to you? Yes. I need mean, everybody I'm to be quiet. If you're not going to let other people talk, we're going to have to ask you to leave. All right, Keely, there was an allegation that Britney was upset because she had a relationship with Stevie that nobody knew about. You're saying that she confessed that to you? Yes, she did. When we were leaving, she just blurted out, I'm having sex with him. Nah! Now Facts. it makes sense. We dropped her off at Stevie's house. Sure. So this we making sense. music, bitch! He got a studio okay. at his house, dumb ho! Right, yeah, just Britney, let me... Britney. Oh, right. Britney. Britney, what song do you have, Erica? You been making a song with Jazzy Faye the whole season. Where is it at? Where is the song? I never talked about your parents. I 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 talked about your parents. Not once I ever thought that Stevie was playing with my career. If I did, I would have never moved from L.A. to Atlanta and take the rest to work with Stevie. Stevie, now, Esalita made a comment. She said, if a woman sleeps with you, you think you own them. What do you think about that? Is that the truth? <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> Fan it up, Mimi. It ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't own her. You know, okay. so what we did was before we started working together, so right. don't mm -hmm. look at it like that. It's not a secret that Stevie and I mess around twice. Okay, that happened. Don't lie. I tapped Don't that lie. a few times after that. He's oh, not a big guy. Oh, please. Stop it. Stop. Let me Stop. ask you Never this. Happened. Is it hard for you to not mix business and pleasure? Is it no, one or the not other? No, no, no. It wasn't my call when we messed around the last time. She wanted it. Why are you lying? Like, this is my whole thing. Whether I sleep with him or not, that's not going to stop me from that's moving right, forward baby. with my career. That's I'm right. never going to be stigmatized by nothing. Okay. It's, it's no the world that's going to stop me from putting in the work Listen. that I need to put in as an artist. Okay. 
Now, All right, she's a hustler. I, I give her that. Okay. But you know, if somebody turn your lights on in the building, you gotta always respect who turned the lights on in the building. You just saying paying homage yeah, to you yeah. as a showing respect. In the music you know what I'm always show yeah. you respect. Okay. So what is the status of your managerial contract? After <laughs> things went left with him, okay. I have to hire a lawyer. Okay. okay. The contract is between me and the company LLC. He never registered the company, so true. therefore there is no contract unless you can provide the articles for that company. Danger zone not... to danger, guys. <laughs> I got my articles. I just want my checks. What would you want checks from? What do you from? want 30% of? From anything she could pay from the walkthroughs, from the, the show. Walkthroughs. Yeah, hey, I want everything. Sean, let me ask you, do you think 30% is excessive? Yeah, absolutely. A standard management agreement is not 30%. But a lot I'm of not problems. a manager. I'm an entertainment company. You know I don't have a problem with you. This is just business I'm at the a, end of the day. I'm a businessman. Right. Well, okay. let me... I'm just emotionally drained. Thank God for Rashida. She's been here for me all day with everything I need. I'm so glad to have you here. You already know that. I don't know what I would do without it because this is definitely one of the most difficult times of my life. I know it's got to be so tough for you. I know how close y'all were, and I know how much she meant to me, so... It was only right for me it's to be here for you. It's just the time you know? to realize, don't take life for granted. Family, we need to be on the right page. Like, I just don't even want an issue. All the things that Kirk and I are going through to me are not on my mind right now. Losing a mother is so much bigger than just the that's going on with us. I love you, and I thank you for being here. This really not only an eye-opener for you, but one for me as well when it comes to these kids and comes to this family. Life is just tender. It's just, it's just, just like that. Yeah. You know, I just, you be wanting to warn it, like, hey, get your last, you know, there ain't no warning. And I don't want us to be on a bad page with no warning, you know, like. That's what, I, honestly, that's what it made me think about a lot of things too, because you never know, you know what I mean? and I don't want to be in a situation where there's things that should have been said or things that should have been done or, you know, things that you regret. You would never want to leave with regret, you know what I mean? I'm sorry for the embarrassment. I'm sorry for the hurt I caused the fam. I'm just sorry about it. You, you already know. I don't know if this is going to change our relationship, but I definitely know it puts a lot of things in perspective. You got to figure out what's important to you, and you got to cherish that. Because the minute it's gone, it's never coming back again. And I'm not letting anybody get in the way of me and my family. I love this man, for better or for worse. For Glojo, I roll dog. Love you. To death. I love you too. What are we gonna do without each other? I know that ain't who I think it is. Here, don't play with me. I'ma find you after, okay? At a party I ain't know about. Why are you here? Um, I kind of felt the need to talk to Rashida. Real quick, if we could chop it up. First, I'm confused on why Jasmine's here. Then I'm confused on her walking in with Tierra. Like, what the f is that about? But like, what's the point? What do you want? Why are you here? You haven't took it upon yourself to do what you were supposed to do as a father to our son. You know what? You can go sit down. Mm -hmm. You can go sit down. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Rashida, you are such a lady. Cause I'm gonna kill that bitch. I really don't have to say to this chick, but since she just keeps popping up, I guess I might as well deal with this once and for all. But she better remember, we in a room full of my peoples that will ride for me if necessary. I don't even need no help, though. I got this. You know what is it? What do you want to talk about? I just wanted the chance to finally get to apologize to you formally. I've tried to write you. I've tried to, you know, reach out to you. And I know I'm the last person that you want to talk to on the earth right now, honestly. Obviously. I didn't want it to go down like this. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking about what I was destroying. I'm not that type of person. Really? <laughs> I really, I'm really not. Because on some real you did that Like, that is the type of person you are. And I'm gonna keep that 100 with you. That was some real bull You know how you with my family. 
And at the end of the day, there's really nothing you can say to me to make anything any different. One thing about me, though, is I'm a real ass woman. And your child has nothing to do with the situation at hand, mm -hmm. but the way you maneuvered was on some that I can't with. And that's why I won't talk to you. That's why I hadn't talked to you. I'd be the first to say, like, I wish I would have never did that. That's not who I am. I up. Well, you don't have to try to tell me what you aren't, because all I see is what you've shown me. I get it. That's real. I get it. So you came to apologize. Is that what you had to say? Shh. Shut up so I can hear. I guess actions speak louder than words. All I can do is act on my words. I mean, and that's doing what, though? Like, I'm... I'm confused. I mean, this is a far-ass place. We're not in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So actually speak louder than words than what? Because when I talk to my mom and I talk to my stepdaughter, because you coming in my place of business, on some real well, like, don't the, nobody, the, what? The reason why I did that in the first place is because I wanted to be able to speak to you. So then I'm, I'm confused on what it is you're, you're, you're wanting. You want to apologize, and then what? Because anything else after that has nothing to do with me. You need to be having whatever conversation you need to have with that man. Because at the end of the day, on some real you a up individual for doing what you did. I'm not even talking about the whole around mm -hmm. but what I can't get past is all the other You know, all these games with these blogs and this bull that you was doing. You posted my child on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like that type of right there, that is a no-go. Mm -hmm. Your malicious ass ways, like I can't respect that on any kind of level. And I'm trying to have my moment. Today is an amazing day for me. I've been through a lot of and I want to continue to enjoy my night. See you later. Yes, boss lady! Oh, oh. No. Oh, there you are. What does that you mean? Think time for it's me. Time for you to see him. Oh, you doing that. Wow. I turn around and he's there. I haven't seen Little Man in a little while. I didn't know if I was ready to take the step, but Kelsey didn't give me much choice, so I'm just gonna make the most of this. Come on. You tripping. Uh, this is a lot. It is, but I'm here and I'm by your side. Here I am and there's my son. And I can't help but think of all the time that I missed with him. Hey, what's up, Little Man? What's up? Come here. What's up? Hey. What's up? You out here having fun? You got to meet your sissy? Look, you smiling at your sissy? All I ever wanted for Cannon was to have his daddy in his life. I think we're all a little uncomfortable right now, but it's amazing to see Kirk with our son. And I can't wait to see how Kirk and Cannon's bond grows from here. I walk in fashionably late, and I already see Keely getting into it with my girls. Luckily, I brought a special guest that's gonna shut Keely up real quick. Wow. Yeah. This is my homegirl, wow. Crystal. Look Thank at her. You. Ain't she Beautiful. bad? Thank you. Real bitches is in the building. I this is Kay Bachi's girlfriend. Oh! What's up, Keely? I have no idea who this chick is. Last time I checked, I was Kay Bachi's girlfriend. Clearly, Sierra's playing some kind of game but she's out of her league here. Oh, who are you? Oh, this is Shooter's oh, girlfriend, dude. Shooter? Who yes, is girl? Shooter. Who is that? Shooter. Oh, the who man who helped you wear that, that necklace of Is it me or did Sierra just take her purse, send it to the uh, West Coast, bring that thing down through the Midwest, and just really plant that thing on top of uh, Keely's forehead? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlanta. They say where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And the more I keep digging for the truth about BK, the smokier is getting. Not only is BK smashing a chick that Sierra used to be friends with, but I also discovered another little secret. Let's take a shot and wait for Sierra and Tokyo to show up. A shot of champagne? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. 
Word got out that I was sniffing for tea about BK, and Amber Pretty, a dancer who's been around Atlanta forever, reached out to me with some very important information. I know my girl Sierra is in love, and she not gonna believe anything I have to say without some proof. But I'm not trying to start any fights, so I rented out a super classy place where we can all sit down and talk and invited Mimi along just so she could keep the peace. Hey, boo. Hi, Hey, boo. Hey, y'all. Hey. I love you. Hey, boo. Hello. I'm Sierra. Amber, Sierra, Sierra, Amber. I've seen her face before. I don't know why Carly invited me out tonight, but I do know this chick, Amber. That's BK old friend, and he has told me some pretty wild stories about her. What is all this? It's fancy. I bought us around today for a friend intervention. There's some things that one of our friends, boyfriends, have not been honest about. He's been doing a lot of dirt, a lot of secret, and a lot of lies. There's one person in here that's new to the table. No, but it looked like I seen her before. BK was just showing me her picture the other night. Uh, what he said. What he, night? Like two days ago? Like a couple days ago, yeah. He was like, babe, one of my old friends is calling babe? me. Babe? He was telling me. Oh, he calls you babe? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean she called he called her babe? That's her man. That's, yeah. Her man. That's, let me tell you though, let me finish. You're not his best friend? No, we're, we're together. But he was telling me that you was like calling him. He was like, one of my old friends calling me. She's saying she need advice and stuff like that. I was like, okay, cool. So you came to his house, but instead you was like trying to come on to him. You was trying to get on the couch. He said you was being pushy, so he had to put you out. <laughs> and I was like a friend. <laughs> First of all, I've known him for about 10 years. We have sex every time we see each other. Oh, I got receipts. Well, it's tax season, so we won't see you. <clears throat> okay, so get straight to the point, because I need to know. She got receipts. I don't got a lot to you. Brasco, so you said you had sex with him on Friday. You had sex with him on Friday? That's what she told me. I am getting really tired of all of these randoms coming up to me with information about my man. So I'm not so sure if I should believe this chick who got all of this lipstick all over her teeth. This is Monday at 10.23 p.m. He said, I'm in the crib. I said, get up, let's go out, have a drink. He said, it's fake going on outside. That's why I stay in my crib. Pull up on me. Mm-hmm. I need advice? I mean, I know people make up fake takes, too. Fake text. Mm -hmm. Girl. <laughs> okay, so did you have sex? Yes, we did have sex. BK is a dog ass whore. <laughs> but this whole setup a little messy for my taste. And I'm side eyeing Carly for bringing Sierra face to face with her dude side chick. All right, so let's, let's get to something better. You him, and this is all it is, so now what? He says that that's not his girlfriend. Well, he I just told you that is his girlfriend, so now what? Hey, Joy! I am so confused right now, but then Joy walks in. I do her eyebrows and we cool, but I just don't get how she fits into this friend intervention. Y'all, this is Joy. I actually do her eyebrows and she's actually BK's artist. They work together doing music and stuff like that. Hold on. He told me he messes with you too. Excuse me, who? Brasco. What? I thought you said she was his artist. Yeah, it is his artist. He just told me about her on the phone. Yeah, that's his artist. Who they are working together. I'm Amber. Nice to meet you. No handshake. Oh, okay. But he told me that he messes with her. No, they don't mess around, sweetie. I'm sorry. The, this is the conversation you and I need to have. I respect you. I like you. You and I are cool. We have no drama, no beef. Oh, so y'all like? It's it's. It's complicated. Is it complicated or y'all f Which one? I need you to sum it up real quick. So, Joy, you see him post me all the time. You want to felt the way like, oh, he always with Sierra. We've had these conversations. He says that you're his best friend. You do business together. I'm dead. So this is just a conversation that me and him have had. I'm he so Y'all best friends, y'all do business. We're in the process of making it official. We, we're dating, but we're serious. I know his mama, I know his kids. We travel together. We do everything together. You want to hear that you're his best friend? Because uh, I have that, too. OK. You take the conversation. Because I knew this was going to happen. I'm not Carly. Oh. Come. She was my real, like, we really 
Like, that's my real best friend. That's my real best friend. I mean, friend. he said like they was friends, though. Like, with Joy. Like, I don't... Who is Joy? This other girl. Oh, so you about another girl, too. So you now you see where I get the best no, friend I from. He told me... I still don't from. see where she, who I she is. You've been f***ing up for 10 years. You just lying right yeah. now. And now Joy f***ing them. Like, it's too much going on. You set it up, though. But you no, my friend. No, 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 no. It's so funny to me how nobody ever thinks to just come to me and have a private one-on-one -on -one conversation. Did Carly really believe that I wanted to hear that my man was cheating from his side chick? All of y'all, what y'all saying? I don't give a I'm gonna go check him myself. Joy, you should have came to her. You she do your eyebrows. You don't even know me. You don't have no time to give a Bitch, I don't give a f This why I'm mad at you. Let me tell you why. Because you she do your eyebrows. Because you don't know me. This right here is a whole hot mess. And Carly must be feeling a little guilty because now she's trying to flip on Joy. I know Carly had good intentions, but sometimes a little direct one on one might do the trick. The crazy part is, even with all these receipts, Sierra is still ready to stand by her man. Guess Carly ain't so crazy after all. Y'all want this smoke? Ain't no smoke. It's a lot of smoke. Ain't no smoke. <laughs> I seen you all the last time that you seen me. Oh, see, you ain't like me. Bitch, I been on you, ho. Oh. Bitch, I been on you, ho. Bitch, I been on you, ho. Bitch. Carly, 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 Carly. She lucky. She lucky today, boy. Really, Sierra? This bitch gonna throw a drink on me for your ass? And I'm having your back? Come on now, for real? Man, that's all on you. You was turning up and all that If somebody talk crazy across my friend, I'm gonna have her back. Man, you so used to these people saving you, they couldn't save you this time, Carly. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Tokyo. They okay, couldn't Tokyo, save you this time. You. Come on, because you drunk and you talking crazy. And I, don't I give would a hate f to go there. Because we partners. I don't give a f I'm yeah. saying it is what it is. She hit you with a drink. Sorry. I love you. See the rose petals? I did this to show you that I really care and I really love you. Like, I've never been in a relationship with a woman that was my best friend. And you're not just my best friend. I want to be that man for you. Well, I just don't want you to think that you could just do stuff like this. This is nice and the effort counts, but you can't just think I'm just gonna give in. The things you've put me through is really hurtful, knowing the situation that I previously got out of, and then I thought I found my best friend, my lover, the person I wanted to, you know. You you thought? That's what I'm saying, I, I thought that I did, but then when you do something so tragic, as far as the Amber and the Joy situation. But the Amber situation, the woman's lying on me. It just still don't add up to me. And I'm telling you, it didn't happen. Okay. But that's neither here nor there, because I want you and I know you want me. Deep down inside, there's a hope. I know it's there's still a light shining for me because of the way we make each other feel. You said the divorce is final. The, the papers are in, right? Yeah, they are in, but I still haven't signed the papers just yet. Well, when you sign them divorce papers, we can go full throttle. I can just prove myself to you to show you that I am the guy that made you fall in love. I could be everything. You know that. Mm. And the next time you cry, you'll cry when I'm putting a ring on your finger. All right, well, we'll see. Hey, did you hear Love & Hip Hop is on YouTube? Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the action.